We're saying hello to spring with the happiest treats around and quite literally tasting the rainbow. Wendy Paul is here with what we're calling unicorn treats. Happy, cheery, colorful sweets that make you smile before you take the first bite. Wendy, these have a personality all of their own. They do. They're I so love them. They're they? so colorful. I know. And when you hear the word unicorn treat, I don't know how you couldn't smell. Because you, just the idea well, of it is it's so color, happy. Well, it's color and it sparkles. And it just makes you just happy. You're just happy when Color you see it. Colors and sparkles. Right? Yeah. They always make yep. you happy. Yep. Okay, so you brought a few things. I did. Start me out. Okay, so the ice cream cups? The ice cream cupcakes. Okay. So ice cream cone cupcakes. So um, I love the color. I love baking it in ice cream cone. Kids love to hold it and eat it. My daughter's begging me to make them for her birthday next month after she saw me making them last night. It's just a lot of fun, right? They're so fun. They are fun. Okay, so a couple tricks Kay. to making your cupcake in an ice cream cone. Okay, first is to get one, of course, with a flat bottom because you want right. it to be able We're to stand up. We're not going for sugar cones here, people. Yeah. Those aren't going to work. It needs to stand up in Kay. the oven. All right, and then the second thing is you don't want to overfill. So just like when you fill your cupcake liner, you need to be cautious not to put too much powder Otherwise in. it's dripping yep. out of the side. And they're not so cute, right? No, they're not so cute when you've sides. got a big mess. Right. So <laughs> believe it or not, only about a teaspoon of every color. Would you believe that? So I did a batch of cupcakes. So one okay. batter, and you've got the recipe on the website. I divided it into four bowls and then colored accordingly. So I did purple, blue, green, and so pink. So actually the cupcake, I didn't realize that, but inside the cupcake inside is Inside it's rainbow too. too. Yeah. Of course it of is. Of course it is, because you Wouldn't want be everything to be treat. awesome. Okay. So you're only gonna fill like to this line here. You're gonna leave almost like an inch. Okay above or for the top so and then you bake them in, bake the, them sh in, in the shell and this the is what I did so I put them in my cake pan because it helps support them okay. and I was able to bake a whole bunch at the same time and they kind of helped each other stand up do you see that yep so supported each other and I baked them not as long as a normal cupcake because there's not so much batter in it but then you pull them out let them cool and you're able to frost them and then of course the best part is like the sprinkles right of because course. we're all about the sparkle all the so sparkle. look at all these fun things I found at the store just great. Those are really fun. And you can it's do super whatever you sparkly, want. Yeah. Really fun, little sugary. So the other thing I'm noticing on this though is that the food color is so bright. It is is there bright. a recommendation you yes. have for food color? Perfect. Okay. okay. So you see all kinds of food coloring, right? These are available at grocery stores. These ones are more at baking supply stores. These are the ones I prefer okay. because the color is more saturated and you need less food coloring for your actual frosting. Okay. Are you just getting a toothpick yeah. and kind so of dripping it in? So just a little toothpick at a time. You want just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit and then mix it together. And as the frosting sits, it gets darker. So have that in mind. Don't make your colors too dark because then they'll be like primary colors okay. when you go to serve them, okay? And, and a little something I learned in elementary school. If I were to take all those colors and mix them together, it would most definitely equal brown. Yes. So how are you keeping them separate? Okay, so how I kept them se separate, here's my bag. Sorry, it's a mess because I've been frosting all morning here. But I actually filled a little bit of each color in the bag and then just started piping. Okay, so you're swiping a little bit on yep. the side, a little, little bit, bit on the, middle, the side with a knife, a little side. on the side, and then I squished it all down together. And then it makes its own unique color. Okay, yeah, okay? It sure And does. it keeps it, very keeps it all separated. Okay. okay. All right, let's so talk cookies. let's talk cookies. Now, those this, look delicious. This is my favorite sugar cookie. Sugar cookie. Ah. Probably my favorite cookie recipe in my whole cookie book. Can I even say really? that? Really? I love so this cookie. So, are you cookie. sharing this with us? I oh, am. I oh, gave good. it to you all. Okay. So, you can all make it and try it. And right. it's so versatile. So, this is just a basic sugar cookie recipe okay. from my book, all right? And you put sprinkles in it. So just so basic sugar cookie. Basic sugar cookie, and then Add I just sprinkles. put these small sprinkles because I thought the Do petite these ones, best? Okay. yeah, the petite ones would be really good. You didn't lose the color; the color didn't fade or spread, and they baked up really nice. And before I put them in the oven, I sprinkled them with a little bit more of the white sprinkles. Yeah, because when you look at the final cookie, it's quite glitzy. Yeah, it is, and you want frosted. that like little glitter. Yeah. You can even do edible glitter, guys. So there's lots of fun things you can do Ooh, for the tops of those. I love that. Okay, and then finally for the cupcakes for this awesome little unicorn corn head. I'll have how to do that on my website, step-by-step -step instruction. And this is super fun. It is like a full, it's not just a, it's like the head and neck of it a unicorn. It is, it is. Yeah, the whole thing there. The whole thing there. So you do that with buttercream frosting. Super easy. Anybody can do that, Emily. Anybody can, even if you're not like a novice baker or froster, like you feel really inadequate, you can still accomplish this so one. You say that, but how am I doing that? I mean, okay. you're laying it out like, so, okay, this looks so kind of like So you lay it out in the shape. 
Okay. And then you frost it with white buttercream, and it can be lumpy and bumpy, right? No big deal, mm -hmm. because if you think of the way the horse's face is, it's not flat, not completely True. flat, right? Okay. True. And then you're going to add the fun colored frosting, like what I did for the hair. And then if you want to, you could do a little fondant, little top for its head or anything like that. Like you could add an eye with chocolate. I thought that would be fun. You could Super type it fun. onto like a wax paper and then put it on once it's hardened. Super fun. And yeah. I love that you did the hair in the same kind of rainbow mm -hmm. frosting because this whole spread would be amazing it would, it would be amazing uh, to have this just as a spread on your table. Yeah. What yeah. about a horn? Okay, so horn, I didn't bring it, but you could do it like with fondant. Oh, good okay. idea. So yeah. I would just take some fondant, you can buy it at the store now, most yeah. grocery stores carry it, and I would just make a long cylinder and then twist it and kind of smooth out the and end. And put it on there. Yeah, and you could put glitter on that, you could paint it with the edible gold leaf paint that you or can do, we, anything you wanted. Or we wanted. could bring in our sugar cones that we couldn't use yes, earlier, Yes, you right? could. You okay. could put even a sugar cone on top. That'd be really cute. <laughs> it yeah, would be cute. Would Wendy, be really cute. what is going on in your life? Oh my goodness, what is not going on? I'm at the home show this weekend. Home show, okay. Yeah, I'm doing two um, segments at the home show. So Friday, 3 p.m. and Saturday, 5 p.m. I'll be on the cooking stage. So come join me, I'll have samples. And Perfect. lots of fun treats. Need yeah. to say more thanks, Thanks, Wendy. Emily. appreciate you coming Thank on you. today.